thing I found that was interesting is there there was something about uh, matcha tea powder. It was shown to improve uh, depression. Uh, it's supposed to boost mood and mental performance. And I've come across matcha a fair bit. And so this was kind of interesting to me just to look into it a little bit more. So for those that don't know, matcha is a type of Japanese tea, traditional Japanese tea, and it can typically be, I, from my understanding, it's actually pretty difficult to get true matcha. And it's kind of expensive if you want to like get matcha tea bags and make them yourself. So a lot, a lot of people go through the... Uh, like through a supplement and get matcha tea powder that you mix into things, whether it be a smoothie or you can mix it with hot water and make your own tea that way. But it's pretty interesting because I've seen it before and in, in talking about just in general, what it, the health benefits are of consuming matcha. And have you, have you had any like matcha desserts? No, no desserts. I've tried like matcha tea itself. Okay. But yeah. Well, there's nothing. There's a lot of uh, a lot of Asian like that. desserts that are that have matcha tea powder in them, and so they're super. They're obviously like very green, and uh, I like them. I think they're really good. But some people don't like that kind of like earthy tea flavor. But I I dig them. And the uh, actually, I was just thinking, you don't strike me as somebody who's very uh, uh, adventurous in the eating department, are you? Um, I, growing up, I wasn't, but I feel like I try to be now. I mean, I just know the things that I don't like. And a lot of the things I don't like are just drinks. I, I'll eat basically anything when it comes to food, but coffees, I'm not into teas. I'm not really into soda. I don't really like, um, but when it comes to food, dude, if, it, if it's in front of me, it's going down. Yeah. We tried that coffee the other day. You didn't, you weren't digging that too much, but yeah, there's, uh, there's some things, I'm pretty adventurous that I was just listening to something the other day talking about the benefits of, of fermented vegetables and, uh, or just fermented foods in general. And we're talking about Japanese, uh, Japanese tea. So just reminded me that there is a, let me look it up because I'm going to get the name wrong, but there's a Japanese fermented food that is, uh, apparently, oh, NATO, NATO, N-A-T-T-O. And, Apparently, when you eat it, it's like the consistency of beans that have been dipped in a loogie. If that sounds appetizing to you, you know, we should give it a mm. shot. But uh, anyway, it's supposed to be really, really good for you. I'd but, try uh, anything twice. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the, anyways, it reminded me of that. But the, the, the matcha tea powder, again, as was shown to have antidepressant effects for people. It's interesting, though, because the way that the study was presented was a little bit, I don't know. I mean, I I get it, but it was basically just saying that this matcha tea was shown to have an increase in dopamine. They actually looked at different receptors in the brain and saw that that increased dopamine. But I, I don't know. My only argument is like, I, and this is not saying anything about matcha tea because – matcha tea i've heard multiple occasions of like the benefits of taking matcha tea and in general if you want to get caffeine green tea and teas in general are a good source because generally with teas it comes with uh, a, a thing called l5 or theanine sorry and theanine helps decrease a lot of the side effects of caffeine that people don't like like the jitters and anxiety theanine helps decrease that so generally the tea that come or the caffeine that comes from tea is kind of a cleaner source but this study talked about the dopamine increase but it, my argument is like it, if i really like skipping rocks then i'm also going to get a dopamine hit from going out and skipping rocks right I, i'm not going to say that that matcha tea and skipping rocks on the same level but like it, in a way like with this study just showing that it increased dopamine it's like well i mean anything i mean exercise increases do, uh, dopamine Sex increases dopamine. Uh, caffeine increases dopamine. Like, there's a lot of things that increase dopamine. So I don't know. I was just nitpicking, I guess. But I mean, doing it, anything you yeah. enjoy. So yeah, whether it's food related or activity related or hobby yeah. related, you're gonna. Get I guess it's just another dopamine. example. So, who knows? Uh, Maybe they're just doing it. Just another example of like why you should. I don't know. Take take some studies at a surface level. Again, not saying matcha tea is bad because I think there's a ton of benefits that have come from that. It's just like you know, saying it increases dopamine is like okay, that's fine. I mean, if you like tea, it's going to increase dopamine anyways, right? It's interesting. 